first thing I'm going to show is this mini bag here. Ugh, can you get it? Okay, I can't close it. Looks like this. It's got like snake, crocodile, maybe even alligator print mixed in, if you can see that. And I got this for my winter white thing that I'm into right now. The next thing is a corset that I undid to rework, but it just looks like, hold up, like this, but imagine it together, the way a corset is. The next thing is a shimmy shaped top, and if you watch Blazing Blaze YouTube channel, you know why I'm calling it shimmy shake. But it's peach colored. It's got these buttons. Oh my gosh, guys, my hair is having a time. Anyways, it's got these buttons, it's peach colored, and it's satin looking from Liz Claiborne. I find a lot of her stuff in the thrift. Anyways, then we have this gravity that says, a great education can never be erased. Then we have this graffiti that says the Beatles, which I just got to have. I don't really like the Beatles like that. Don't crucify me, but I don't. Then we have this shirt here, which if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen the way I style this already. Then we have this top here. Can't go wrong with cheetah print. Oh my god, I think this is cheetah print. Maybe it's leopard print. Oh my god, this is not even a shirt. Excuse me, guys. This is a skirt. I have a top like this, I think. And then we have this graphic tee of the New York skyline, which I got to cut up because I'm going to put it on the bottom of some pants and then we have this top here New Year's Eve-esque if you wanted to you could wear something like this gold then we have this faux leather jacket thingy got pockets and yeah then we have this oh. just a regular basic denim button down again can't go wrong with basics and then we have this regular navy skirt that I'll probably cut up into something else. Next, we have some corduroy brown pants. And then we have this 2000S top here. Oh my god, this is so unprofessional because I'm just rummaging through this bag. Oh, then we have these black pants here, which I bought to go with that black leather thingy, but I don't know. I'll probably pair it with something else. Then we have this two piece, which was pants. But I cut it up into a skirt and a top. Then we have this New York bleh, New Year's Eve, if you wanted to top, because it's sparkly, burgundy. Then we have a purple lace top. And next in this 
bag is a top like this. I hope it's not appropriation because I really like this top. So if it is, I'll probably cut it. Oh my god, I hope it's not appropriation. Then we have, I think I showed this already, if not this Wind of the Spirit top that I cropped, like super top, cropped it, and the back says breathing free. So I like that, and then this was something, but I cut it up and put beads on it. I forgot what it was, but I cut it to put beads on it. Okay, next bag. In the next bag, we have, ooh, this bag here. Which is so, so freaking pretty. I can't believe people actually put it like that. Anyways, then we have this. Okay, when I saw this, I thought of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So it's definitely 90s. And let me know if you guys get Buffy from this. I don't know, I just get Buffy, Felicity, 90s. That type of thing from it. And then we have another basic, which is a, um, you know, what's this called? Turtleneck from the Gap. And then oh, we have this fantastic blazer, which I've already styled on my Instagram, exclusive green. Slightly oversized, long green. And then we have a basic again, just a pink mock neck top and then we have the color of 2020 in dress form dress shirt form which is also like a satin material what's the brand salon satin i don't know who that is we have that and then we have some more basics. Another mock neck, but in this color. I'm still heavily into neutrals. And then we have another graphic tee. This one is the Hulk. And then we have some more basics. We have this one, which is showing up cooler than it is on camera. And then we have this one, which is just a button down with a cinch waist. And then we have, um, I guess this, no, this is not a basic. We have a Lizzie McGuire-esque lime green, early 2000s, going to the club, girlfriends, all that jazz top. And then we have this turtleneck, purple, it's inside out, but this purple one, plum, and then we have another bag, which is this one. I think I saw something like this in Zara, I'm not sure, but this bag and this bag, I hope the mini trend is still in for the spring. Either way, I'm not getting rid of these back. And then we have this 80s-esque fur bucket hat. Okay, this might be a look. Nope. I'll make it work somehow. And then we have this tank top, which I got because it says Jamaica, that is my background. This is actually from the Sandals Resort. And then we have, what is this? Oh, I think this is the last item. No, it's not. But we have these 501, um, 
Are these five on ones? Yeah, I don't know. But these Levi Strauss white pants, which I have been looking for for the longest of time. I so believe I manifested those because when I went out, I said I want to find some, and I actually found some. Usually they're gone, and now the last few items are this hat, this hat, and another basic piece, which is a... Hey guys, it's Brielle here, and I'm back again with another thrift haul. This is my end of the decade thrift haul, so hope you guys enjoy. Like and subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And yeah, let's just get into it. And the last item is this mauve yellow. Wait, it can't be mauve yellow. Okay, this yellow, but it's like dead yellow, I'm going to call it. Basic piece. Okay, guys. That is my end of the decade thrift haul. Nothing too exciting. Guys, this is a bobby pin because this hair is driving me insane. Okay, end of the decade thrift haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. What was your favorite piece? All this stuff. I'm gonna stop being awkward. Bye.